Welcome back guys, quick update video. Um, doing my morning work grind, uh, doing some farming uh, while I'm working from home. Reggie versus Solace, another video. Um, I'm always giving you guys uh, the good farming content that I'm able to do as I am farming in World of Warcraft. I love farming and my I was skeptical of coming into TPC because of course Classic is a more grindy type of game. Well, there are some farm spots in TPC and I'm finding them and they're helping me out in my blacksmithing profession. Let me show you this hot one that everyone seems to know about. I didn't know about no one know about it until last night. It is a void ridge in Hellfire Peninsula. Let me give you the pros. There is in, there's no cons. Let's get into it. All right. Real quick. So I've been here about 40 minutes, not even an hour. And the one thing I need you guys to be able to see are these. Um, I'm farming Motes of Shadow. And this, I, I thought it was Ocean Gun in, um, in Nagrant. In, forgive me if I pronounced it wrong. I was farming there, but those mobs are a higher level than the ones here. These collapsing Void Walkers, and uh, I think it's a Vactating Void Void Walkers. There's another one um, that, that don't collapse. These are the most absolute best mode of shadow farm in the game. It's it's amazing. I, I, I must be having all the luck. I don't know. But <laughs> 30, like 40 minutes and look how many motes um, I was able to get. Uh, it, it, it's crazy. Um, I, I don't even understand. Um, they're, they're dropping in, 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 in twos, which is which is amazing. Um, yeah, and you can technically do this place all the way till 70. Um, there are some level 62 mobs here that are still green uh, to me at 70. Um, and that means it'll be a slow, long process, but you can technically come over here at 58 and level all the way up to 70 just off these Void Walkers um, as there'll be some level 62s in there sprinkled in. Um, they drop uh, most of shadow um, and pretty much nothing else. You may find a few greens, as you guys can see here. I have a, a couple of greens, um, but mostly most of shadow, and it, they're either dropping in ones or twos, which is great for me. Um, coming over here, what I would suggest is coming over here with about 40 bandages if you're a melee DPS class, water if you're a ranged DPS, um, and then getting to work. You know, I, I have a kind of a good pattern. The respawn rate is amazing over here. I'm not going to lie. Um, me and my boy Fez. Fez is the one who told me about it. So shout out to Fezza. Uh, watches the the, uh, the YouTube videos. There you go right there. There was two most of shadows off that one collapsing Void Walker. And that's how I'm able to get um, all the way up. So I originally came over here to farm out 15 um, Primal Shadows um, using these motes. Um, so I can create, because I just got the uh, Fell Steel Bracers. Um... The black fell steel bracers, the BOE pattern. I just bought this off someone, um, and it, it costs 15 primal shadows, six fell steel bars, and of course I've been running heroics like mad. I have primal, primal nethers to spend on them, right? And it's BOE, so you can sell an auction house, make it for your guineas, so on and so forth. Um, very good pattern to have, right? Uh, especially in phase one. And I was told about this place to be able to farm those moats. And it's working out very well for me. Like this is just this morning, right? Not even in in the nighttime. I, I come the ones I came over here. I, I started last night, and I had uh, one. I was able to farm up seven primals um, last night for about maybe two hours early in the morning, and then came over here this morning to try to just get back to it. Um, and I mean, <laughs> I have tons more. Um, you know, uh, just primal uh, boats. Most of Shadow, um, which is great. Uh, it's working out beautifully for me. Um, and, and the good thing about this place is that there the, is high respawn rates. These little rifts here create the uh, portals. These little portals here create these uh, Void Walkers. Sometimes they come come out in, gr in, in groups of five, which is amazing. So you can go over there, Zug Zug. What I do is I when I get down to about 20% here, I bandage up and then I leave out. Um, as they do do a nasty uh, at level 70 is not that nasty but they do collapsing um, even if you uh, if you kill them before they collapse these uh, facilitating uh, are, the, are, the, are the peaceful ones basically um, those do not explode um, when you kill them so it's pretty cool um, and those kind of work out so if you come up here with some um, a little bit of spirit gear 
um, your farming gear, you'll be uh, in a good place to be able to get your most of Shadow. Now, these are cheap on the auction house um, due to a lot of people questing over here. But once they're done questing, no one ever comes back. It's an underrated farm spot, the same as my, as my boy Fez says. You can see over here, this little rift created about three of those guys. Um, so there's always tons. There's another mode of shadow right there. I'm, I'm about to be um, having freaking another another set of bracers, right? But anyway, that this is my place. Um, I'm gonna show you where it is. It is the Void Ridge over here. You can fly into Zeth Gore if you are a horde and then uh, take a right and just come straight on over um, to the Void Ridge. There's two of them. There's this one over here and then there's another one right around here um, that you do for the uh, extended quest line um, while you're in uh, Hellfire Peninsula. Another uh, pro tip before I go is if you're on that quest and you don't really need the EXP, um, keep it in your inventory and that way you can create the uh the five uh void walkers that come out via that quest it's an endless spawn of those void walkers um that you create in the quest so that's another way if you know you're going to be farming like a, like i have two outs uh, rvs and Russell. so i know now whenever i come over here i'm never going to turn that quest in because i'm going to continuously farm these on those characters i'm not going to need the exp because you can do dungeon grinding and there's a plenty of other quests um, so now that I know that, of course, I didn't know that beforehand um, coming over here with Warblade. But that's just to say a, a, a pro take how you can farm endlessly most of Shadow, turn them into Primal Shadows for those Bracers. If you are a, um, a, horde, a horde character um, or, a, or not say a Horde character, but a um, either a Paladin or a Warrior. Um, there are Plate Bracers that cost that. Uh, it takes 15 Primal Shadows. And um, this is a great place to be able to farm those. There's another moat right there, boys. You guys have seen it already right here. I farmed about seven or eight moats just in this video. And I'm doing this live <laughs> it, 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 at work. <laughs> you know, just, just uh, making the, uh, the best usage of, of my time. But that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know of any other farming spots. Are you having a better time in uh, Nagrand or Nagrand, however you want to pronounce it? Or you're coming over here to Hellfire Peninsula. These mobs die in about four hits, maybe three. Um, and they drop sometimes in sections of two, most of shadows. I have all of these just this morning right here. And I've only been over here maybe an hour. Um, so it's a great farm spot to get your primal shadows. Um, you're going to use those for um, different type of uh, crafting patterns. From tailoring, way on down to blacksmithing. It, it's a definite from the number one farming spot because they're so low level and they still drop the moats that you need and it's close to questing hubs or um, hubs where you can um, turn in sell your uh, your greens disenchant them if you're an enchanter so on and so forth but that's the video reggie versus solace void ridge best moat of shadow farm spot tbc classic talk to you guys next time